Have you got fabric scraps? Chances are if you're a sewer or a quilter you do and they're multiplying and multiplying and you've got no idea what to do with them. All these pretty little bits of fabric, you don't want to throw them out so you're saving them. You're not sure what you're saving them for but today I'm going to show you a great technique to use them all up. Now today's tutorial is not a project. I'm going to show you a technique and with my technique you're going to use up all your scraps and then you can make any project you'd like to. If you're new to my channel, my name's Stacy, and I teach step-by-step -step sewing and quilting tutorials. But for now, let's get on with using up our scrap fabric. So now I'm just going to go through my scrap fabric and pick a few pieces that I'd like to sew together to make our larger piece. Not all the fabrics that I've got in here are going to go together, so I'm just going to make a small little pile of what I'm happy with. Remembering that we can always come back to our pile as we need to to find more fabrics to use. So the next thing I'm going to do is just find two pieces that I'd like to sew together and the only rule with this is that we do need to sew straight edges to straight edges and we can just line that up on a mat if we would need to check what we're dealing with and that looks pretty great. Now a lot of people don't press but you know I'm a presser so I will just give that a quick press so it's sitting really nicely. So all I'm going to do now is fold these two fabrics right sides together and sew them along that edge. Now this edge is not straight so I'm just going to start a little bit below and we'll cut off that excess there. If you'd like to you can use pins. I'm not going to worry about it today. going to sew right past the edge there, cut my thread and now I will just press it. So just setting our stitches and then pressing our seam whichever way we'd like to. I'm going to finger press it so we don't have any creases in there. Now what we're going to do is cut this so we've got nice straight edges so that we could sew onto this on any side we'd like to. So I'm just going to take my ruler and place a line on the seam there and cut off all these raggedy edges. Then I'll do the same on this side. And depending on the scale of how big you'd like the pieces, you could save this to sew on again. And what I'll do is I will just check this edge here. And I'll just cut that so we've got a nice straight edge to sew along on this side. So now let me pick my next piece of fabric and that one looks pretty good. I could sew it along here. It also fits if I sew it along there but I think I'm actually going to sew it here. So we'll just give that a quick press and then I'm going to sew it onto this piece. So I can see I've got a nice straight edge here and a nice straight edge here so I'm just going to line them up nicely. If I didn't, I'd just pop that over a little bit and then I'd trim it off after I've sewn it together. But it looks pretty nicely straight, so we'll just sew it like that. And I'm just sewing right past the edge of that back piece there. And then I'll give that a press. So I'm just going to cut off this excess here. So I've got my nice straight line. Again, I can save that little piece if that's um, the right size, depending on the scale that I'm trying to get. I've got some stitches there that I'll need to unpick if I come back to them. Now, like I keep saying, it depends on the scale that you'd like to use. If, if I was going to be making a whole quilt top using this technique, I would stick to this size and bigger. But if I'm making a little purse with it or a little coaster, then this is a little bit big. So at this stage, what you can do is you can cut it in half. So I could find the approximate middle and cut it in half. Or if I know I'm going to want to use it all up in my project, but I don't want it to just look like I've cut it in half, I could sort of cut it into one third and then two thirds. So on this side, it's going to be two inches. And then on this side, it's going to be about four inches, just, just roughly so that it looks like we've got all these odd pieces together, which now gives me, once I've sewn different pieces onto either side, two completely different looking pieces. And then all we do is we just keep going. Now, 
I could sew this on to this side here. Let's do that. So I gave my new piece a press and I did just cut that edge because it was looking a little bit wonky. So I know I've got a nice straight edge to work with. I'm just going to place them right sides together. I'm not sure how straight that top edge is. So I'm just going to be moving down a little bit and sewing just like we have been. If you'd like to, you can use pins at this stage. And just when I come up to these seams, I'm going to make sure they're being sewn down in the way that the seams have been pressed. So this seam is going that way, it's going forward. So I'm just making sure as I sew over it, that's how it will sit. So now I'm going to just press that again and I'll press the seams towards the larger piece. So now you can see my piece is growing, but what I'm going to do is cut off all these raw edges so that then I can sew another piece on again. So just lining up seams with lines on your ruler and edges with like the edge of that fabric is on the edge of my ruler as well and just cutting a nice straight line there. Turn it around and do the same on the other side. And I will do it on this side as well. Now at this point you might think, oh that's a little bit big for me. I didn't want it that wide. So we could have cut it here if we wanted to. So it was just a small slither. Or what we could do is now cut it in half down the middle. We could cut it in half perfectly down the middle. Or we could cut it in half just a little bit lopsided again. So we're getting really different looking pieces. Okay, and now you can see we're getting quite different looking pieces from this original one that we had. And then I'm just going to carry on and carry on. So what I could do next is I could think, well, I want a piece to go along. Sorry, let me move those out of the way. You could think I want a piece to go along this side, but that one there would look pretty, but it's not quite big enough. So then I'd find another fabric. Okay, and then so we could sew this piece onto here. Although I'm not liking the purple on the purple, so I could move the brown down and sew this one up the top. When we're using scraps, we do have lots of funny little bit of frayed bits, so just pull them off when you need to. So can you see how that, that will look pretty? So the first thing we'll do is sew these two pieces together, trim this side off, and then we'll sew these two pieces together. So I've sewn those two pieces together and then I'll just trim this excess off at the top here. And then just remembering to just stop and take a look at it and then you might be thinking I've got too many sort of longer pieces sewn together. So then you might want to take your next piece and sew it along the bottom here so it's not looking so long and narrow if that makes sense. This piece is a bit small so I'd have to find another piece. Maybe this one. And then sew on. And remembering we can cut them into smaller pieces as we go. And just have fun with this. There's no rules. The only rule is that we start off with two straight edges. So then what I'll do is I'll just carry on and sew as many pieces together that I need to to make the piece that I need for my project. Perhaps you want to make a zipper pouch and it needs to be let's say 8 inches wide by 5 inches tall then that's what I would do. So I would just carry on and then if I wanted to sew these two pieces together I would work out how I would sew them together. So let's say I want to sew them together like that. Well then I would just add on some here so that they're going to fit and I'll sew them together. Then I might like to take this piece and maybe sew it here. If you can imagine I've got a piece here. So I would need to add some on here and so on. So it's kind of like a jigsaw. And then you just keep going until it's the size that you'd like it to be. Now just have fun with this. It's meant to be a really fun way of using up your scraps. So here are a few things that I've made using this technique. You can make absolutely anything you want. The sky's the limit. You could even make a whole quilt top with it. Or you might want to make smaller quilt blocks and then sew them together. So I've got a little heart coaster, a zipper pouch, 
and these are all tutorials that I have you I'll put a link down below if you'd like to make any of these and I even made a book cover but honestly you could make absolutely anything you'd like with this technique one last tip just to speed it up is what you can do is get a longer strip and then sew on a whole lot in one go so we could sew this one down there take another piece pop that one there and so on adding them on and then you'd sew along this edge press and then cut them to get your nice straight edges so there we have the really easy scrap busting technique now let me know in the comments what you're going to make using this technique and if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like button it really helps me out and if you'd like to make my fabric book cover check out the video above and I'll tell you exactly how to do that thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video